Hi makeup lovers, hi color lovers. How many colors do you see here? I see some red, some plums, some greens, some yellows. And now I'm going to go home and check for these colors in my color palettes. You do the same. Check for these beautiful colors in your makeup collection. We'll do something creative on my channel Soma's Makeup Diary which is all about color creativity. See you soon. Hi, did you check for the colors in your makeup collection? I have checked for the colors and here got the swatches. The greens, the yellows and the plums. Do not have a plan here how in which order i'm going to pad those colors on my lids but let's get started i'm going to start with this shade on my transition area i'm focusing on plums yellows and greens today now reddish plum or purpley plum you decide whatever you have in your collection just go ahead with that I don't have the exact shades today but similar shades yes of course and I'm going to make it work to create something colorful something unique to me something special to me that's how I can make use of all those colors that I already have in my collection the greens the plums the yellows now I'm mixing and matching with matte and shimmers why because you know shimmers are my favorite and uh, wanted to use the matte shades as well creating one single look with mattes and shimmers both is fun one shade done now next what do we do first the green or the yellow I choose the most shimmery yellow in my collection okay I have not used that shade a lot maybe once or twice but today I'm going to give it a chance let me see okay do you see that this is a beautiful golden shade of course it deserves to be on the center part of my lid yes the main focus really amazing some shades just win your heart isn't it I think I'm going to start with that matte shade first innermost corner a little bit towards that plummy shade going to use the same color right here too I told you I do not have a plan I'm just playing with colors here the inner corner the outer corner and little bit on the crease area as well but I want to give all the shades a chance today nine shades a lot you don't have to use all the nine shades you know but if you want to you can definitely go for it as I already mentioned three shades plum green and yellow variations your choice now I'm going to take the darkest plum in my collection this shade right there making an arrow shape taking it upwards so that I can darken the crease area a little bit more well it's a makeup time right so we can use as many colors as we want to and play with them about that next I'm going to take a shimmery green this is the shade on top of that beautiful yellow shimmer the yellow and the green mixed in together giving me a totally different shade here happy 
excited most of the blending is happening with my finger today all right mm -hmm. pretty happy actually the screen is really nice that yellow golden shade which was intense i love that shade but this green on top of that yellow shade is changing the color itself and i am liking it dusting blending just a little bit i'm going to use this green as well on the lower lash line connecting the lower lash line green with that crease area plum that plum is also a very dark plum and this green is also very dark green so both the dark shades are together here this is a very nice autumn look fall autumn on my eyes now i'm going to take the shimmery yellows one more time but this time i'm not going to go for this intense shade this shade i'm going to do something different here overlapping that shade of yellow which is not too intense but giving me a nice shimmery touch here on my lower lash line I'm overlapping that shade with my green here it is brightening right do you see that it is really brightening now the intense shade it is going to be my inner corner pop look at that just dabbing you okay and now I'm just blending it with my ring finger sometimes I want to go beyond that inner corner you know, this area because it is really brightening and it catches the light and attention towards the eyes I like it gives a very highlighted effect here blending do you like fall shades the browns the plums the greens you know the rusty oranges all those shades lovely taking this today there are so many swatches this shade okay this shade to darken the outer corners a bit more i like to layer i am absolutely up for colors i'm thinking of bringing this color on my lower lash line as well right here right next to my green if it overlaps that green because this shade is also very nice you know these are the palettes which i use not so often today i decided to go for the plum shades in those palettes which i hardly use or use not so often i think i've covered all the shades yeah i'm pretty happy do we need any other shade all right my friends pretty dramatic eyeliner yes i'm using my liquid liner today and i am skipping my pencil liner just liquid liner first i created this wing and then brought that tip a little bit lower on my lower lash line and i'm not covering the whole lower lash line with that tip just this part do you see that just here now i'm going to add a little bit of green and i'll show you how i do that taking my smudge brush and going for this green shade along with that wing like a double liner but with an eye shadow felt like doing this look at that next my shimmery green 
this shade right here on my lower lash line right here along with my wing so the black liner as my wing here on top of that the matte green shade and on the lower lash line along with that wing liner i'm going to use that shimmery shade kind of like the effect of it pretty white and pretty dramatic really like it a q-tip today to control the shimmers it always helps right the look of the day and i'm pretty happy with it because it is amazingly surprising to me i never thought that i would do this look and this will be the end look yeah the colors are amazing but the layering it was totally it came as a surprise to me pretty dramatic look isn't it i'm kind of liking it yes i never thought that i would do this winged liner and uh, i will pair it up with shadows up and down pretty nice and unique to me and a special look to me try this look get your plums get your greens and get your yellows shimmers matte you decide create something unique something special to you enjoy the colors and you all know that you are coming back to soma's makeup diary to watch another fun eye makeup tutorial come back soon yes we are doing this tomorrow as well all right don't forget to subscribe and comments yes i would love to read your comments about your makeup experiences how you are going to pair layer all the colors together and create something absolutely stunning rock the look bye for now see you tomorrow